let me show you how chart controllers or high voltage chart controllers or chart controller in general work uh the chart controller in an inverter or a chart controller is just like uh, the human digestive and excretive system because i've had a lot of people say since the high pv chart controllers because this is a three kilowatt Feynman inverter that receives up to 500 vdc that means 500 volt from the solar panel a lot of people believe that if it receives up to 500 uh, volt from the solar panels the responsibility that it will affect the battery because the voltage is higher than that of the battery no that is not how it works just like the human digestive and excretive system if you receive a specific product different product will come out at the end of the day so that is how the charge controller works now we are receiving about 100 and something volts we'll use our meter to check so we have about 150 something volt coming from the solar panels which is a high voltage because the system here is a twin four volt system we have two units of uh, uh, 2.5 kilowatt hour lithium batteries connected in series to give us 24 volts. So a lot of people believe that if this charge controller inbuilt in this inverter is receiving up to 100 or up to 500 volts, there are tendencies that it will affect the 24 volt batteries. No. Now, we receive 150 volts from the solar panel. While here, we will get about... So... You can see here we have about 27.4 volts coming to the battery bank while from the solar panels we are receiving about 150 volts so there is a lot of conversion that is being done between the charge controller and the battery bank the charge controller will receive a specific amount of voltage from the solar panel and will give to the battery what it needs the only thing that the charge controller will do since it's a high pv solar charge controller if it receives 500 volts with 10 amps it will now boost the current that is supposed to come to the battery bank now we have, we have about let's check the current let's see the amount of current that is coming to to the inverter from the panels you can see we have about five amps coming from the solar panel we will also check the amount of current that is going to the battery presently because uh it is like a step up and step down system because the charge controller inbuilt in the inverter will receive 150 volts or even 500 volts then it will step it down to 24 volt or 48 volt to match your battery bank so there is no possibility that when you receive high voltage from your solar panel the high voltage will go to your battery bank except your charge controller or your hybrid inverter is faulty the only thing the charge controller will do it will receive minimum current and give you high current at the battery end it receives five here it will give us about 10 or 20 amps to the battery bank which is cool with your system so your charge controller know what is expected to give to the battery I've received a lot of calls uh, from people that had misconceptions from other installers that told them if you generate high voltage from your solar panels, it will affect the battery bank. No, the high voltage doesn't go to your battery bank. There is a lot of conversion that is being done. And even to the house, this high voltage coming from the solar panels will not go to your house directly because the inverter will convert what is coming from here, which is 150 volts, to give us an output. Now, at this point, we have a direct current, direct current, direct voltage coming here while the output to the house we have alternating current and alternating voltage going to the house now let's check the voltage going to the house you can see we have about 220 volts uh, 230 volts going to the house which is a normal volt normal voltage for your appliances to run at this end you have about 150 volts which is a direct current direct voltage then the inverter have done a lot of conversion by channeling 27 volts or 29 volts to your battery bank and doing another conversion again from the battery or from the solar panels if you have enough solar panels from the solar panel to the output of the house so uh, there is this misconception that people believe that if you have 220 volt or 400 volt at the charge controller point which is the dc input point you will not get the same 400 going to your house no it's not possible the voltage coming here is a different product while the voltage going out here is a different product at this point you have ac alternating current going to the house at this point you have direct current direct voltage coming in so what is going to your battery bank and what is coming to your solar panels are the same products why the product going to your house are two different things just like the human uh, digestive and excretive system so that is how your charge controller works so i correct your misconception of believing that if you have high voltage coming from your solar panels you have high voltage going to your battery bank except your charge controller has fault but charge controllers doesn't work that way they are more of like step up and step down system they will step up the current that is coming from your solar panel and step down the voltage to match the battery bank